Uh, Today we're going to be talking all about the Square Terminal. I've made a couple of videos about the Square Terminal. We've talked about it. Y'all have seen the Square Terminal yep. on a couple of videos. Um, but we never really went into depth as to why we choose, well, or why we chose the Square Terminal and how we utilize it in our business. So, welcome to Pallet Jacking. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Beautiful people, TJ and April here with another episode, another, another, <laughs> another, <laughs> another episode another of Palette Jacking Vlogs. Uh, today we're going to be talking all about the Square Terminal. I made a video very similar to this on my other channel, um, but I want to make sure I release it here because a couple people had asked us about the Square Terminal, and I want to make sure that you all had the same information. Right. Um, so we used the Square Terminal a couple of different ways. Um, we're going to show you like actual the terminal and what we use it for. That video is like a screen video, so don't pay attention to the dates on it because I believe it's from like June or something was when I shot that. Right. So, but none of the information has changed. None of the information changes exactly the same. Um, so what we use the Square Terminal for is first and foremost, April is the one that found Square because I didn't even know it existed. Right. Um, but where I saw the terminal, the actual like, you know, the point of sale with the iPad and stuff, um, I saw it at Dos Bros. So those yeah, pros, they yeah. have, and they have a new one. Did you see the new one? Yeah, I saw it. I talked to them about it. I want to get one. They fine. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, we went and we actually purchased this terminal. So what we have is the square terminal. We have an iPad that mm -hmm. goes inside of it. And then we also have the cash drawer and the barcode scanner and the rece receipt and scanner. The yep. You don't need all that stuff. You can no. literally just download it on your iPad or on your cell phone and utilize it for, for that. Mm -hmm. um, so what the Square Terminal is, is basically um, a program that's, uh, you can do it through uh, on a desktop, on a computer. You can also do it on an iPad or a uh, iPhone, um, but you can input all of your inventory or whatever you're selling on there. So you can do products or services. Mm -hmm. You can input everything on there and then you can make sales on it. So you can take cash payments, um, you can take credit, credit card, card payments, payments and mm -hmm. then they have certain fees. It's basically the same fees like you would have on the other ones. You and know. I, yeah, and I think if they, if it's not instant, like mm -hmm. if you don't do an instant transfer, mm -hmm. I think that's where the fee comes in. Right. I think it's free if they just. Well, it's, it, they have process and the process fee is 2.9% okay. and 30 cent okay. per one. But that's the only that's standard that's what yeah. you're going to get anywhere with, mm -hmm. with with any kind of pay credit card process and it's going to be about two and a half percent and then like 30 cent per transaction same same on mm -hmm. ebay you have that same um same process with ebay managed payments but um the fee that april's talking about is so like let's just say somebody came into your store or you sold something on facebook marketplace you met them and they paid with the credit card um you would not be able to access that money just immediately unless you did an instant transfer. Right. Because it it, it houses in, I guess, like a square terminal, like bank yeah, account whatever. kind of thing. Yeah. And then it, you can automatically instantly transfer it to your account and it will it pop in like cash app. Cash app. Cash app, yeah. And um, there is a fee associated with that. I think the fee is like, I don't know if it's 10, it's not 10%. I don't, I don't know how I much the fee is. Yeah. I'm I will have to look it up and uh, yeah, we'll put it on put screen. In, yeah. We'll put it on screen here what the fee is, but there is a, a instant transfer fee. I don't think it's that much because like we I'm, do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> now you could um, just wait until the next day because that automatically put it into your account the next day. So if you don't need the money right then, you can just wait until the next day mm -hmm. uh, to get it. But um, definitely one of the main perks, probably the number one perk of having the Square Terminal is being able to accept cash payments as well as debit and credit card. Uh, payments and I would like to point out mm -hmm. um, Like you said so like let's say you don't have a store and you just have your phone like and you meet somebody on From Facebook and they ask if you take credit card you can mm -hmm. you can t accept it right there on your app You know on yeah your, on your app and get yeah, a charge them and another way that we utilize it um, Especially now we talk about Facebook marketplace mm -hmm. is you can send them an invoice so yes. you can if like say for instance somebody says um you know, can you hold this for me? Yeah, I can hold it with the cash payment yeah. or with the payment. So you can send them an invoice and we've actually done quite a bit of sales. Mm -hmm. You know, some people say, hey, I want this, this and that. And then we'll say, you know, your total is 150. Um, we'll send them an invoice, they'll pay the invoice and then that was their stuff. We're just yeah. holding it until they can come pick exactly, it up. Exactly, exactly. Um, or until you meet somebody. So 
Um, definitely you can use that for invoicing people. Um, that's totally free within, mm -hmm. within thing. You just pay the same fee, um, on the credit card payment. Um, and then you can also, um, send somebody a, like say for instance, you're meeting somebody, uh, through marketplace and then you want to ring something up and then accept the cash payment. You can send them a text and then it'll, they can pay okay. through the text yeah. message, just through the link on their phone. Um, so there's a couple different ways that you can accept credit card payments, debit card payments, while you're not having at a mm -hmm. physical store and you're not using it as a point of sale. Um, the next thing that we use it for is our inventory management. Now, our inventory management is not like the greatest. It's not. <laughs> it's all, but I mean, it works for what we're. Yeah, for what, for what we do. Yeah. I mean, we, um, you can have an actual attached website. The website is actually through Weebly. Um, mm -hmm. But what it does is it pulls all of your inventory from your Square Terminal and imports it into the website. Mm -hmm. And then you can do sales and you can do different things. It imports all the information. So it, the, the photos, it imports the, the price changes, um, and it imports the quantity. So say for instance, you have something at the store and then somebody purchases that item online, it will take it out of your inventory at oh, the store. store. Mm -hmm. right. And then vice versa. If somebody buys right. it online, it'll take it off your inventory right. uh, at the store. I think I just said that right. the same twice. So, so <laughs> like I said, the only problem that we, I think that we actually run into is when people buy it from neither one of those places right so if somebody buy it from ebay you know you have to physically go into the square terminal right and take that inventory out yeah. and that's one of the things i know it's one of the things that we just have to kind of remember it's kind of hard yeah <laughs> it, it, i wish that they had a way that you could um incorporate the sales but you know it's two different companies so they're not going to do that but the way that I normally do it, instead of having to go in there and just take it out the inventory, I'll go in, it's easier just to create it like it's a sale, yeah. and I got a 100% off kind of coupon that I use, so I just ring it up, put the 100% off coupon, and you don't collect any money for it, but yeah. it shows that you sold it. Um, and there's a, a whole bunch of things that you can go into the terminal and change, like you can look at, um, you can categorize stuff, so you can look and see what kind of category of stuff that you're selling. Right. Um, you can. Create, you can create um, groups. Um, groups. You can create coupons. Mm -hmm. um, you can create discounts. Mm -hmm. um, and those things you can actually send out to your customers. So, like, let's say you have a repeat Facebook person, or you do have this website, and they sign up to your website. You can send out, you know, a loyalty, twenty percent off everything, you know, just twenty percent off, right. or whatever category, or if you want to do the entire store, whatever, you can send that to your your people to your people yeah. yeah and um so we had we hadn't really done it in a while mm -hmm. but um the way we used to do it is so say for instance we got a pallet of target stuff you know and we paid 650 and we got it from war on retail um we would actually create a category that says target 650 war on retail yep. and that way we could track that pallet and the profitability of that pallet quickly all you gotta do is click on it and boom, you see what you sold from mm -hmm. that pallet and how much you've made. Um, and so it actually helps you with um, getting your break even point. So, you know, once you make, you know, your 650 back, now you're in a profit zone. You can kind of price things mm -hmm. in that profit zone where you can like drop prices to kind of get rid of stuff and right. then move on to the next pallet. And the same thing with our dollar bin. Like mm -hmm. you, you can just go in there and click dollar bin and you yep. can see, oh, we had a bunch of sales in this dollar bin, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. And then uh, it actually worked very well when we did the dollar sale at the store mm -hmm. because I was able to just I put everything as a dollar, but we could say, tell how many items we actually sold and um, the category of items that we sold. Um, if you had it like that. Now, we don't go into that level of detail, um, but I've seen some YouTubers that have dollar sales that they categorize everything like they have health and beauty, electronics, you know, different stuff so they can see what sold what was more. Sold, yeah, so um, they can know, oh, okay, well, next time, yeah, you know, so I can health, get this stuff. Right, health and beauty did well, mm -hmm. uh, electronics did well, right. this didn't do so well. Yeah. You know? Um, so that's all we got to kind of say about it. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the store and I'm going to show you actually what the terminal looks like and we'll go into the menus and I'll show you some of the stuff um, that may help you out within your business. Yes. Let's go into the terminal itself. So this is the main screen. Now we have the, um, the receipt printer and we also have a scanner um, and we have the card reader and we have the cash register. So we have the whole set and I'll put a link to it in the uh, description section below uh, each individual piece if you wanna get uh, the whole thing. So the main screen of this is actually an iPad and 
the iPad has to be, I believe, the 9.7 inch iPad. So I made the mistake of trying to use one that I already had and uh, <laughs> and I had to take it back because it's the wrong one. So when you turn it on the main screen, it has um, just your items. You can go in and you can um, change this first screen to put everything. You know, if you wanna have something specific on here, you can change it and we'll get into that here in just a minute. Um, but I'm just gonna give you the main features. Uh, the next one is orders. Um, so if you do online sales, um, if you have a store, which you can set up a store through Square and your store uh, orders online will come through on your register. So you can go over here, you can see what uh, orders you have, if it's been picked up, um, like that one right there has been picked up and it's gone now. Uh, so you can make invoices. Um, so we've done invoices, especially in the store. If somebody sees something on Facebook and says, you know, hey, I, I want to purchase this item, um, but I won't be able to pick it up till tomorrow. You can just send them an invoice. They can pay for it. And then boom, they pay for it. And you can give it to them uh, whenever they can get it. So that's a pretty cool feature transactions. Um, so this kind of goes through and shows all of the transactions that you've had through your point of sale. So as you can see through here, we've uh, got all of the sales that we had like today, which is quite a bit um, yesterday. I mean, we haven't been open much. So the last sale that we had um, before that was the 14th and then on the 6th and, and it goes all the way back. So you can go and see your sales from a long time ago and everything is captured within this device. Um, so the next one is the reports. This is the, the thing that I like. I like looking at data and looking at uh, different things like that. So right now, I always saw my cash register out with $75. I got that from Taco Bell. I don't know why, but I put $75 in here and then anything over that is gonna be what we take out and deposit into our bank. So as you can see right here, we started the drawer over at um, 6 or at 1.38 p.m and then we've only had one sale uh, since then. So in our drawer right now, we've got that cash in there along with $75. Now, you can end the drawer, and once you click the end drawer button, um, what it'll actually do is it will allow you to put in how much was actually in the drawer, and it'll tell you what the difference, plus or minus, um, or if it's right on what it should be. And it'll print you out a handy uh, receipt, which I don't have right here, but it'll print you out a little receipt and say, you know, for your records, this was this drawer is cashed out on this day, and this is how much was in there. Um, also, you can um, put money in or take money out if you need to by clicking the pay in and out button. Um, you can look at the drawer history and see um, when the last time you've closed out drawers. I don't know how many it gives you, so right now it's just showing three, but I know I've done it more times than that. You can go to sales and it gives you your gross sales, your net sales, your average sale price, um, how many total sales you had, um, your returns, your discounts, um, and different things like that. And they kind of give you a really cool bar graph uh, here. So one of the uh, neatest things, especially when our store had first opened and we was getting a lot of customers in here, we could see like the growth. So like if you go to the last three months, you'll see exactly how much we made inside the store in the last three months. Now, mind you, <laughs> we've been closed for a long time. So our sales haven't been much, but you can kind of see uh, a, a graph of how much we sold. So it's very telling um, to see, you know, how profitable your store is or how profitable your business is uh, by looking on this. Of course, this doesn't include online sales or anything like that, but this is just in-store sales. So if you look at it, um, so for the last three months, which we've been closed for the last two months, uh, we made $1,321.65. But if you look at the previous three months before that, um, it was quadruple that. It was $4,467. Uh, that we made in those three months. And that was the first three months that we opened up the uh, store. So it kind of gives you some statistics and different things uh, like that. It also tells you how much money you made in cash versus how much money you made in cards. Uh, it tells you how much you paid in fees. Um, so you do have to pay a fee for them to process credit cards. Um, the fee is, um, I'm not sure, but it's a, it's a flat fee for each, um, payment and it's not much like you can see right here we pay eleven dollars for having a thousand dollars uh worth of sales so that's that wasn't a big deal um also this is one of the really cool things that i like about the square terminal is that you can make categories and you can go in here and say okay so we're doing a dollar sale i want to make each individual item um just one item but a dollar sale but i can go in and i can track how much we sold 
through the dollar sale. So you can see right here, we sold 539 dollar sale items. Now we also had some $5, $10, $20 stuff that's in a separate um, category, but just specifically for the dollar sale stuff, we sold 539 items. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, you can also just set different categories. So especially when we get pallets in, um, you can, you know, do electronics pallet, you can do a target pallet, um, you can see on here, like I put JCPenney, um, this, we pay 650 Warren Retail, um, that pallet, we, you know, if you code each individual item in a group, um, you can kind of track your pallets through this software. Um, so then disputes, that's just if anybody disputes a purchase. Um, so you can go to your balances. So this is if you uh, allow people to pay with the credit card or if you have the card reader, um, this is where the credit card payments are housed. Um, so you can do refunds from here uh, and you can also do an instant transfer. So what that does is it instantly transfer that credit card money to your bank account that you have on file. You can also get a square card. I just We just transfer it to our bank account and it's the, the fee is very minimal. So we just go ahead and transfer it. Um, then you can also see your customer. So what this actually does is it pulls um, from the people's credit card information, uh, it pulls their name. So you have a list of customers and if they purchase online, um, they can put in their email address, they can put in their cell phone number. Um, it sends them a receipt to their cell phone um, if they would like that. And this is a really good way to have a customer database, especially so you can put faces with names and different things like that. Um, so this is the items uh, thing. So I can do a whole video on how to put items in here. Uh, it's very easy. I mean, you just go in here basically and push create item and you can put the name, you can put how many options or if it's in a separate category, that's why I was telling you, you can put like, you know, electronics box or uh, a palette that you got from target or target palette or a Home Depot palette or whatever it is you can put uh, add a category in for that um, you can put the price for each one of them how much you got and the skew so we tried to put everything in here with the skew if we we're going to put it on the shelf and sell it so that way we can scan it and it'll automatically take it out of the uh, inventory uh, but also what that does is we can um, put these items on our website because this links directly to the website, the photo, the UPC code, and the stocking level and the price, all that syncs to the website. So it's in real time. If somebody buys it in a store, it pulls it off the website. So um, <clears throat> also you can go in here and put, you know, what the sale t sales tax is. And um, it, it makes it easy for you to remit tax because you can just click on sales tax and tells you exactly how much that those items were. Um, you can also add services. So I made a service the other day because I was going to try to do the dollar sale um, where people could like book times to come in here, but I couldn't get it to work right. So I'm not going to endorse that feature of the square. Um, you can go to the settings and it just kind of goes through um, all the different settings. I'm not going to go too much into the settings. One cool thing that I do like about the square terminal is you can also clock in and out. So if you are um, tracking your employees or if you're tracking your time at your store or within your business, you can do that through the square terminal and um, you can go easily on here and add uh, employees and you can see how long they was here and they can just clock in and out uh, straight through here and you can print out reports and different things like that. So um, I don't think it goes in and calculates like paychecks or anything like that, but you can get the actual time amount of hours and minutes uh, that people were clocked in and out. Um, they will, they do have some accessories that you can connect. Um, you can connect the card reader, uh, square stand, which is this is what you're looking at right now, a uh, printer, a cash drawer, a barcode scanner, and a scale if you uh, need to weigh things. Also, you can add your bank account information, your business information, and where your transfers goes. So that's the pretty pretty much the overview of the system. So that is going to be it for today, guys. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we release new videos. And we will see you guys on the next one. Um, Peace.